L. Meeker, United States Army, and remain standing for the playing of the national anthems. Please join me as I lift a prayer in honor of this occasion. Let us pray. Gracious God, you are always more ready to hear than we are to pray. Thank you for your patience as we call upon you most often when we are in need. The Signal Corps certainly is familiar with that phenomenon as they only hear from us users when the network goes down. Bless these cyber warriors, O oh God, as they keep the lines of communication open and accessible at all times and in all places to friendly forces and inaccessible to those who would seek to do us harm. Expand their minds, O oh God, to always innovate and create the next generation of technology. As this command transitions from one capable leader to the next, watch over them, their loved ones, and this organization as they fight the good fight in the ever-evolving battle lines of communication. Help each of us, O oh God, to be better communicators, to express our intent clearly, and to often tell those whom we spend our lives with how much we love and appreciate them. In your holy name I pray, amen. Thank you, Chaplain Meeker. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of troops for today's ceremony is Lieutenant Colonel Micah P. Aiken, DISA Europe. Order, oh. Order, arms. 
Post the colors. Right wheel. Mark.
at, at the at this era, so a lot has happened in that time. Um, hasn't always been called this era, and this goes back to the Defense Communications Agency days, uh, way, way back when. And so the work that, that she's been able to do is has been pretty impressive. If you think about even hiring, the hiring process, right? Um, it's easy to move away, but a lot harder to come. And so just getting a handle on the hiring process and making sure that they had the right folks at the right time uh, was another pretty in in impressive piece uh, coming out of COVID. Um, if you think about who you watch for, right? There's nothing more important in my eyes than having God's face awareness and understanding exactly what is happening across the command uh, and, and across the theater. Setting up a new watch floor that has state-of-the-art equipment, uh, state-of-the-art facility, um, just sets the stage for even greater battle space awareness uh, as they go forward. Uh, the creation of our field offices, right, in the UK and NATO, and working to make sure that it's not just what's happening here at Stuttgart, but what's happening across the theater, making sure we got the right individuals in those right places to make sure that that forward presence um, is the picture window into the rest of the agency and, and the rest of uh, this is Europe. Uh, and who can forget in 2022, right, when Russia invaded Ukraine? And all the work that was needed from a force flow standpoint, all the work needed from the communications with our allies and partners, uh, Diane and her team were at the heart of those communications and at the heart of those relationships and the heart of making sure that our senior leaders were able to communicate with their fellow senior leaders and our allies and partners on whatever they, they need to. So a lot of great work that she was able to do in providing not only that some of that communications, but the security of it, uh, right? Making sure that we have the right cyber security, which is a very important thing uh, as we look at today, um, and the communications that we have with our allies and partners, make sure that information is trusted and information is protected. So she was at the heart of that and making sure that, uh, that the cyber security team was there when we needed. And then even the work, although Israel and Palestine and the Hamas conflict, um, even though that is not necessarily close to here, but the work that she was able to do uh, in helping the J6 uh, and helping the EU uh, team uh, set a very high standard. So Diane, on behalf of uh, the agency, being our picture window here to the command, uh, and picture window into, into Europe, we just want to say a hard thanks for all that you did, all that you read it, uh, in building the family, but more importantly, supporting uh, what, what you found was a strength So thank you uh, from the, the, the entire agency. And as we go forward, right, a lot of things that still have to happen. And so, Alicia, you know, welcome. Um, a lot of some big shoes to fill, but I know with your experience, um, just coming from the CDAO office at the, at the Pentagon working artificial intelligence. So, you know, there's no speech that can be said without using artificial intelligence in that word. So we had, to get, we had to get that in there. But that's going to be at the heart of the next couple of years of battle space awareness and cybersecurity is that artificial intelligence capabilities that is going to be foundation. And she was able to do that. She was also, oh, I guess I should have been using this better. Yeah, hopefully those uh, online were able to hear a lot of that, that's what I said. Uh, so I'm not going to repeat it because of the weather. So you can do it on your own. Uh, but some of those, those cloud capabilities that she was able to do um, uh, there at, at the CDAO. Um, she was also the military assistant to the Secretary of the Army. Um, so being able to juggle that effort uh, will come in handy as you're juggling these relationships and juggling uh, the uh, extra work that uh, General Phillips is going to try and put on you that uh, Colonel Fine would say, uh, not yet. Uh, he's been waiting for you. So being able to juggle that, I think being the military assistant to Secretary of the Army, uh, sets you up, sets you up well. And then she's been command, she's been in S6 or, or G6 uh, at all, all different echelons. So the great work that you've been able to do uh, is, is why you're here today. So uh, uh, we welcome you uh, and we look forward to you taking command, taking the flag, and taking this organization to the next level. And so because of the weather, I think we can stop right there and uh, get the show on the road. Does anybody have any? We can have a discussion right now. Um, yes, sir. Otherwise, I, I, yeah, I knew Colonel Fine would be the first one to say it. So, I, uh, again, uh, thanks to Colonel Fine for all that you've done, Colonel Colonel Lockley. Uh, looking forward to you taking command. And with that, I think we should get the show on the road. So, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of DISA Europe, Colonel Diane E. Klein.
Hi, good, good afternoon. Um, for the formation, go ahead and, and take a wiggle. Uh, it's hot out here today. Um, the colors, if you want to unseat and, and set them down while I have my 25 minute speech, um, please relax. It's hot out here. It's Germany. I think this is the hottest day of the year so far. Um, so, good afternoon and welcome. Uh, Lieutenant General Skinner, thank you for your remarks. Sergeant Major Krauss, Ms. McMillan, Major General Phillips, distinguished guests, and a couple of special shout outs for my battle buddies, Colonel Miller and Colonel Snodder of DISA. Africa and disassent. Also, I see uh, Kirk Alexander out there, Colonel Kirk Alexander, the garrison commander, and I think I have uh, um, the second sick brigade commander. Slate, are you out here? I heard, I heard a rumor he was coming. He's not out here. Okay. And then uh, I also want to recognize my friend Colonel retired Rick Smooten and his guest Christian. Rick and I served together back in Iraq in 07 and 08. First Armored Division, and he came out of retirement in July of 2020 to promote me to Colonel uh, when everything was still shut down. Um, so it's great to have you here, Chris. Or it's great to have you here, Rick. Um, excited, to, excited you came up from a, a, a side trip from Switzerland. And of course, hello to everybody that's out in uh, Video Land. Um, very, very happy if you're online and listening to this. I know Felicia's family's out there. I think mom and dad is on. My, my mom and dad are on and some of my siblings and possibly my uh, in-laws and brothers-in-law. So hello and thank you for everyone who's come. Um, it's great to see so many old friends, former and present colleagues, members of DISA, DISA Europe, and uh, UCOM family here today. So what a great day for DISA Europe. Um, this is the first after a ceremony I think we've had in at least six years. And it's a beautiful day for a traditional ceremony, if a little bit hot. Thank you for bringing the Baltimore weather with you, sir. We, we do appreciate it. At least it's not raining. Um, and it's out here in the heart of UCOM at Washington Square. And Sergeant Major and Command Master Chief, the, the formation looks great, so thank you very much. And this is quite a formation. It's really a joint theater-wide effort, and we couldn't have done it without our partners, like almost everything else we do. Thanks to the UCOM band for that beautiful music, to the service members of the United States European Command, I think we have a few J6ers out there. Uh, the 52nd Signal Battalion for supplying both the cover and the soldiers in the formation. And also um, to DISA Europe for volunteering to represent in this formation. And thank you to the Color Guard from the United States Africa Command for volunteering to so honorably display our colors. I think I even spied a sock here set up, a sock here soldier out there setting up. And thanks to PAO for covering this with streaming and to the considerable team led by Kat Luttrell to put this whole thing together. It's been a while since we've done it and it was quite an effort, so thank you. It's really representative of who we are as DISA Europe, its span of influence across our three theaters and how much we rely on each other to succeed. So thank you all. Thank you too to Colonel Karen Meeker for that lovely invocation coming over from AFRICOM. With her, me, and Colonel Lockley today, I think we have about 75% of the U.S. Army here, Ar U.S. Army Stuttgart women's population of Army colonels here today. Um, I hear and see a lot about women in peace and security, um, but I still find myself as the only woman in uniform in a room or sitting at the table. So it's fantastic to be here um, with with these great women leaders here, with Ms. McMillan, the J357 at DISA. And uh, I think this is only the fourth time, the first two when I was a lieutenant, uh, that I have handed off my unit or my responsibilities to another uh, woman soldier. So it's a fantastic day. This is the first time I've ever handed off uh, my command to a woman. So representation matters, and it's exciting not only to be surrounded by senior women officers today, but officially welcome Command Master Chief Karen Sigerson with her husband Sig to DISA Europe. She just arrived. Um, and is now our senior enlisted leader. I'm thrilled to have you on board as the senior enlisted leader, not just for DISA Europe, but for all of the U.S. sailors across Germany. Defense Information Systems Agency European Field Command. It's quite a title. Uh, and it's been quite a journey these last two years in DISA Europe. I arrived in the midst of the Ukraine, Ukraine crisis as we were still emerging bleary-eyed and weary from two years of pandemic restrictions. Just as we had the Ukraine support down to a new normal in this changed security environment in Europe, the Israeli Hamas crisis began. And we leaned into that effort to support our sister with disassentcom. Somewhere in there, we supported our Africa brethren with the withdrawal from Niger 
and the challenges just keep coming in this uncertain world. In the midst of all this, you, the marvelous, dedicated team of professional civilians, service members, and contractors of, DISA Europe team took, of the DISA Europe team dealt with outages, circuit changes, cellular mobility device challenges, everybody's favorite, leadership changes, a major force structure change at headquarters. You responded to the customer demands while modernizing this theater network. You provided exceptional cybersecurity defense across the networks that connect us to our coalition partners and our customers. And in providing that first class customer support, you incredible folks performed hiring actions, renewed contracts, held vendors accountable, innovated creative solutions to thorny network issues, expanded and modernized the network into the eastern flank, worked with multilingual vendors, sometimes three languages at a time on a call, across countries, managed facility maintenance, that included working through a total power outage in our building that was not the contingency we had planned for. And occasionally, even jumped into a vehicle last minute with a piece of equipment and drove to the southern end of Italy to fix a problem. You've designed, built, and opened a new modern operations watch floor. And you've also su supported the community here in Stuttgart. You've supported new mothers and fathers within the unit. We've promoted civilians and military to new responsibilities and positions and volunteered for multiple agents within and throughout the agency and the community. The UK field office maintained our special relationship with our closest US allies, the UK military, through partnership and mutual support. And in Belgium, the NATO field office supported critical capabilities and aided with the delivery of radios and communications to the front line of the Ukraine forces. In addition, and most importantly, you eliminated getting after it. And instead, solved clearly defined objectives in pursuit of the mission. You did all of this with a too small workforce meant for a much smaller theater effort based on a different security reality than exists today. Did you rise to the challenge with each and every ask from our customers, and you deliver. I'm so proud of all that you have done. You have a bright future. So General Skinner, thank you for the opportunity and for your leadership as the district director. Darren, as my deputy, you've been a great partner these past two years. There are few who know as many disisms as you, and you've helped us navigate the agency daily. I'll miss our two-minute conversations that never went that short, and our many conversations about food. You will not meet a more discerning palate. Senior Pekata, thanks for helping hold down the fourth the last several months. I can't wait to see how you do in your next position. And Talisha, welcome. Welcome back to Europe, and welcome to command. You have a fantastic mission and a strong team that is ready to fight and win. I'm so excited for you and CMC Sigurdsson as you start this journey. Enjoy it and have fun. You're getting not just, not just a great team in this Europe, but great partners across the entirety of the communications and communicators throughout Europe. It's a team effort and the team is good. I know you will lead with distinction and take your team to greater heights as you continue to succeed. Finally, I have to thank my husband, Stephen, who most of you know as Red. Yes, Stephen is his real name. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, my darling man, for putting up with this late two-year stint of a 26-year adventure of uncertain dinner times, multiple TDY trips, and last minutes, you know we have that thing tonight, requests. You're always there for me, and you take it all in stride, usually better than I do. Thank you, and I love you. Once again, thank you to all the civilian service members and contractors in the Jesse Europe family including DITCO, GSD, J9, HAC, and other partners that make this a great place to live and work. I can't name you all. We'd be here too long and it's too hot. Um, but I've learned something from all of you throughout this journey, and you have my gratitude. Please come visit us in Belgium anytime. We'll take you to the good chocolate shops and we'll snack on some frites. I wish you all the best. Talisha, the team is yours. Take care of them, and they will take care of you. To see Europe 6 out. on behalf of DISA Europe Regional Field Command. Petty Officer First Class Geigo will now present Colonel Klein's husband, Red, with a Irish spirit and traditional red roses combined with purple roses to signify the DISA and joint family represented here today. This is a small token of appreciation representing 
the official farewell to the Klein Bumment family and serves to thank them for their tireless support and dedication to the service members, civilians, and family of this year throughout his wife's tenure as commander. Thank you, Red. <laughs> Lieutenant General Skinner, Colonel Klein, Colonel Lockley, will you please come to the viewing area? Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the ceremony's most anticipated moment, the actual passing of command. The battle colors of the unit symbolizes the authority and accountability of command. Transferring the colors during the ceremony symbolizes the relinquishing of command by Colonel Diane E. Klein, and by accepting the colors, Colonel Talisha Lockley accepts command and confirms her total commitment to the Dissa Europe service members and civilians that she will command. Command Master Chief Sigerson is delivering the colors to the commander. Center, face. Present. Art. By authority of the Department of the Army, the undersigned is hereby directed to report to NATO Communications and Information Agency in Brussels, Belgium, to assume the duties as the head executive manager, signed Diane E. Klein, Colonel, U.S. Army. By authority of AR 600 TAC 20, paragraph 2 through 5, the undersigning assumes command of Defense Information Systems Agency, Europe, effective 9 July 2024. Signed, Talisha Flockley, Colonel, DISA Europe Commanding. Lieutenant General Skinner, Sergeant Major Krause, Ms. McMillan, Major General Phillips, and all the distinguished guests here with us today. Welcome and thank you for being a part of this very special day. I want to first give honor to God and all that I do and all that I am is for his glory. OSD, CDAO, IOSA, the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, mentors, family and friends, whether online or here in person, I am grateful for your presence here today. Thank you, Lieutenant General Skinner and Ms. McMillan and our entire DISA family for accepting me in and allow me this opportunity for this amazing organization and to command in this year. To Diane and Red, congratulations on completing command. It's not an easy task to do, and I attribute it to your outstanding leadership and character. Thank you for welcoming me and taking me in since my arrival. You are true professionals, and I wish you nothing but the best in your next assignment. To my fellow field commanders, field offices, theater signal units, and U.S. Army UCOM leaders, I know I am the new gal, so I just ask that you take it easy on me for a little while, at least until I get my seat in. I'm looking forward to working side by side with you as we look to solve these complex challenges facing our joint force. To all those that have been responsible for this change of command ceremony, thank you so much for putting together such a professional review. Command Master Chief, the formation looks amazing, yet I expected nothing less from an exceptional group of professionals, leaders, service members, and families of this year. And an honor and a privilege to be called your commander. To my friends, family, colleagues, sorority sisters, mentors, and teammates, 
Thank you again. Thank you to my amazing friend Michelle, who is here with me today. You have always been supportive and encouraging to me, even when I didn't know that I had it in myself. Thank you for always being a great friend. To the Germany Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, thank you for being here and already leaning forward in the foxhole for your support. To all my DC brunch buddies, my platoon sergeant, Amelia, friends, Takia, Karina, Kamiki, Dries, Robin, Jason, Lou, Kevin, Lonnie, Mike, and especially David, words cannot express what your friendship has meant to me during these most difficult times in my life. I love you all and thank you for being my biggest supporters. To my family, my father, my bonus mom, my brother and sisters, thank you for all your love and support throughout these years. To my mother, I could not do this without you. Your prayers and love have always been steadfast and constant, and I know that I would not be here today without you. And last but not least, to my three beats, Noah, Tyler, and Lucas, who are joining virtually and are probably upset because they had to get up early from playing video games all night. <laughs> you three are the reason I breathe and the reason why life continues to have me. I love you and I'm looking forward to taking on this next chapter and all these great adventures ahead of us. Thank you all again for your attendance here today. All policies and procedures remain in effect. Be all you can be, this will defend. Aim high, lie, fight, and win. Honor, courage, and commitment. Semper fidelis. Thank you all. DISA Europe 6, signing on to the next. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the retirement of the colors and the plane of the service menu. Okay. Time to color.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's change of command ceremony. On behalf of Lieutenant General Skinner, Colonel Lockley, Colonel Klein, Command Master Chief Sigurdsson, thank you for attending today's ceremony. Additionally, we would like to thank the AFRICOM Color Guard, the U.S. Army Europe Africa Band and Chorus Brass Quintet for their participation in today's event. Before departing, we ask that all DISA personnel gather around the formation for a quick unit photo. Afterwards, please take a, a brief moment to bid farewell to Colonel Klein and then join us at the chapel and a slow reception to welcome Colonel Lockley. Thank you, and we hope you have a great day. Civilians included, please gather around the formation area. 